Okay, now we are going to talk about one of the most important topic in EMS, and that is the equation of a straight line. Now, say you have an equation that looks like this: y equals to some number x plus another number. This is an equation of a straight line. Y equals to 2.663x minus 7. Now, this is another equation of a straight line. In fact, all equations of straight lines look like this. We can write them in this equation, y equals to mx plus c. Now your y and x are variables, m and c are constants. In fact, these two constants are so useful that they have names. m is known as the gradient, and C is the y-intercept. So the gradient is the number that sticks to x. So in this example, 5 will be the gradient, and in the second example, 2.663 is the gradient. Now, um, the gradient is how steep the slope is. So if the gradient is a positive, positive number, both of these examples, they are positive numbers, it's like that. If the gradient is negative, the slope will be in the other direction. Now how steep the slope is depending depends on how big the number is. So the bigger the number, the steeper the slope. So you can have a very gentle slope and the gradient will prob probably be close to half in this case. So a gradient of 1 is 45 degrees. So something like this. So a gradient of minus 1 will be like that, something somewhere here. So this is about 45 degrees. So this is gradient minus 1. So the y-intercept is where your straight line cuts the y-axis. So if you have a straight line, your straight line will definitely cut the y-axis somewhere. I can draw my straight line here and it will cut the y-axis on this point. So this equation, your straight line cuts the y-axis at half, so somewhere here. And for the second equation, it cuts at minus 7, so perhaps somewhere below. To summarize, all straight lines take on this form, y equals to mx plus c, where m is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. So what happens when the gradient is 0 or infinity? So say you have a coordinate or you want to draw x equals to 5. So say you want to draw this on the graph so that means that x is equal to 5 for every single value of y. So this is a vertical line and it intersects x at 5. For the other case, when y is equal to say minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 for all values of x. So your line is parallel to the x-axis and it's a horizontal line. So this is y equals to minus 1. So these two are really the set of values that is either horizontal, in this case, or vertical, in this case, that is a special case of y equals to mx plus c. Let's take a look at some examples. So say you have an equation, y is equals to x plus 1. Now I ask you to plot this. So before taking this topic, you will dutifully, hopefully, draw a table, x, y, and try to guess some values. Now you know that this is a straight line, so um, perhaps you put in 0 for x, and when x is 0, y is 1, and perhaps you put 1 for x, and when x is 1, y is 2. Now to convince yourself that it's a straight line, we can do one more. Uh, when x is 2, y is 3. So let's plot this. 
Okay, so this is my coordinate x, y axis and the, the first point is 0, 1 which is when x is 0, y is 1 so it's somewhere here when x is 1, y is 2 so somewhere here and when x is 2, y is 3 somewhere here so you can see that this is a straight line but this is the longer way of doing things now from what I told you just now y is equals to mx plus c all straight lines are always equals to this equation and m is a gradient and for this question you can see that the gradient is 1 now gradient 1 is roughly 45 degrees which is you know even in our sketch you can see that this is close right and c is a y-intercept so you know that this equation intersects the y-axis at 1 which shows that it works in this case so this will work in all cases let us look at this example given that y equals to 3x plus c passes 0.31 find c so we can pick out the equation of the line it's y is equals to 3x plus c and we know that c is the y-intercept, 3 is the gradient. So if they want us to find c, we can just substitute 0.31 because we know that this line passes through 0.31. So if the line looks something like this, you know, one of the points here is 0.31. So if we put the 0.31 inside this equation, we will be able to solve for the unknown. So let's do that. 1 is equals to 3 times 3 plus c. So c is equals to, this is 9, so if we bring the 9 over, we will have minus 8. So there you have it. So your y-intercept is minus 8. Now you can ask me why. Why is it? that when we put in 3, 1 into this equation we will be able to solve for c and why would it work now you must understand that your equation now that we have found what is c I can rewrite it like that y is equal to 3x minus 8 now this is a set of values that will give you a y value for every single x value so every single x value must give you a y value so perhaps it's something like this So every single x value will give me a y value. This x value will give me this y value. This x value will give me this y value. So if I put in 1, it will give me, you know, minus 5, and so on and so forth. If I put in 0, it will give me minus 8. At this point, when I put in 3, it needs to give me 1. So the only way for this to satisfy the equation is for when c is equal to minus 8. Another example, very common example, find equation of a line passing through two points a which is 1, 2 and b which is 3, 7. To find gradient, you can take y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. So it's 2 minus 7 over 1 minus 3. And this gives me 5 over 2. So all straight lines take on this form, y equals to mx plus c. And for this question, m is 5 over 2. So we can put it inside, 5 over 2x plus c. So now we want to find out what is c. Now we know that this line passes through a and b. So we can make use of either point. We can make use of point A or point B. So say we want to make use of point A, we can put in y equals 2. And because it passes through the line at y equals to 2, at that point, we know that the x value is 1. So we can substitute these two values to find what is C. And the y-intercept is minus half. So your equation will be y is equals to 5 over 2x minus half. 
you can stop here or you can verify using the second point when y is 7 x must be 3 so we can go ahead and verify so so y is 7 5 over 2 x minus half we bring the half over which will be 15 over 2 is equals to 5 over 2 x multiply by 2 and divide by 5 on both sides we will have 3 here and x so x is equal to 3 and you have verified it 